I mean, I can print information into water just like you do on a uh, you can on a disc, and that's hard for a lot of people to swallow. But the fact is, is it's true, and we I've proven it uh, to myself and a number of others. But what happens is because there's no science behind it, there's no there's no history behind it. Uh, the amount of money that's required to test this type of invention is in the millions of dollars and in the years of the test mode, years and years of testing. Uh, that doesn't guarantee that my technology will be accepted. It just means this is the route that this is the route that you have to take regardless, you know, if it's 10 years before they start, you know, using this technology. It's 10 years. I don't want to wait 10 years. Uh, I will never be able to further this technology you know, at that pace, and uh, I don't have millions of dollars to do the testing. So I'm seeking other countries that are that are not bound to the chemical companies. They're not. They don't have any special deals with the chemical companies. I'm not. I'm not going to be facing liability issue. You know, uh, or uh, well, what do you call it? Lawsuits. You know, for because little Jimmy, you know, used the was swimming in the pool and he got an eye infection because one of my water systems was in the pool. And that's where they kind of tell me, we, we, you know, we have a great system here. You don't need chemicals for the pool. But what happens when it gets a bacteria overload? You know, and I'm going, wow, well, I don't think about that. He says, well, then, the, then they could sue you. He says, well, I haven't even started yet and I'm already being sued. He's like, yeah. So this is what you got to think. So this is what you're up against. So I was like, oh, okay. So I'm having trouble realizing the fact that this is great technology that has all the potential in the world for, for treating water at a, at a practically zero cost and no chemicals, no side effects, no negative, no negative anything and yet it will not be accepted because of uh, all the, the, the legal quagmire that we've created and, and, the, and the fact that the, the, the chemical companies have made it law that they use these chemicals in our water by law they have to use these chemicals knowing that they don't kill the bacteria anymore. That's the scary part. The EPA scientist, friends of mine, have told me, says, wow, Rob, he says, you know, you're the future of water treatment. He says, but they are just bound and dead set. They're never going to let these, they're never going to take these chemicals off the books. They're going to make us put chemicals in our water supplies. And this is dangerous because they know it's not working. They're putting the chlorine in the water and they know it doesn't work. But the chlorine's in the water. All they have to do is test that the chlorine's in the water and then that's all they have to do. That's, they're legally they're legally safe. They're, there's no, uh, I say, there's no liability for them because all they have to do is make sure the chlorine's in the water. It doesn't matter that the chlorine isn't working anymore. The bacteria is growing quickly and steadily in that in that chlorinated environment. It's just the law they cover them to cover themselves. So it's kind of weird. It's kind of weird. The world we live in today. Common sense is no longer common. Hmm. What do you see, what would you envision the future would be like if these uh, water purification technologies were <clears throat> truly proliferated? Well, you'd have frequency generators going, you know, depending on the distance of the water, how far the water had to travel uh, from, from its holding tank to, to the end user. You might have a frequency generator, you know, midway through the pipe. Uh, just to keep the bacteria and the, anything that might be might have grown or, or within the pipes that we know are so, so you basically can just run uh, and you using natural principles you know let the water spin and spiral when waters run through a straight pipe all the energy is flung out it's just it just flies off water doesn't not it's not a natural thing for water to to be run through a straight pipe nowhere in nature does water run straight straight down a straight pipe it's not natural can't breathe so it has to spin and spiral. So that's nature. Water spins and spirals. So when you build a natural, when you build a good water system, build one that spins and spirals. You know, allow allow some natural principles to go go into our water treatment methods. And not in not in one in one case do I know in, in any water treatment uh, uh, facility if they apply any natural principles whatsoever. They run water through carbon filters. Well, they just strip the energy from the water. Carbon takes energy from the water molecule. It actually strips the energy from the water molecule. I mean, I mean it's amazing. Carbon's energy energy seeking too. And so when water comes out through comes comes out of the through the carbon, it's completely de-energized. Uh, it's just the nature. So even though carbon's a great filter, it's a great purifier, it also strips the energy and the life force from water. So it's like what do you do? So well, we think we think we're doing good. I mean God knows what you know I can't stand the taste of tap water and I'd much rather run it through a carbon filter before I drink it. At the same time we're only dealing with the purity not the not the energetics of water. 
lots to be understood and lots to be learned, but you know, no time like the present. There's a lot to be learned about water. And I've taken lots of photographs with Dr. Emoto and I'm learning what you know what electromagnetism, how it affects water, light, uh, sound. There's a sound really has a most beneficial water loves, you know, good sounds. It likes good beats and good vibrations. It really, really uh, seems to affect the crystal more than anything else, more than light, more than uh, uh, energy. It just the sound is the, as I say, the most preferred, uh, let's say, uh, uh, energy, sound energy, is the most preferred by water, in my opinion. I think that people just need to be aware. It's like they said, well, what do we do? You know, they're going to be asking, so what do we do? You know, you're telling us all this, but what do we do? And I'm like, you know, I'm moving out of the country. You know, I don't know what you're going to do. I said, I've solved my problem because I get tired of complaining about it and not anybody doing anything about it. And uh, I certainly tried. I've 17 years. I've been, you know, uh, activist in this, in this, in this way and promoting uh, new energy, or new, new, new technologies alternative technologies and and water to me is one of the most important things that we can we can actually have we can affect that would change so many different things in the world so many different things it would change our plants it change our food that we eat because everything's made of water uh, it would you know it would change our you know our disease uh, that we're all faced with now I mean if you don't know somebody that's got cancer you know you know somebody who knows somebody who's got cancer I mean we never knew grew up. growing up. We never had anybody had cancer when I was when I was living. Now you know, my you know every other neighbor's got cancer. It seems, or their member of their family's got cancer. So it's scaring me that that we're having all these diseases and we're not we're not doing anything really to turn it around. We're just you know saying, well, this is just the life we have now. This is the way we better we have to get used to it. And I think if we become complacent with this, and it's not the way God intended. We were not meant to be sick. People, we're not meant to die as sick as we're dying. You know, this is not the way. You know, the, our, this is not the way we were made. So my question is, like, well, you know, how do we turn this around? Individually, you guys can, you know, do what I did to investigate this, these facts for yourself. But you know, the water vibrationally, vibrationally, is what I think is bringing us down. And we, we got to raise that vibration. If it's just praying to your water, we're electromagnetic beings. You can hold the water in your hands. You can ask the water to do good things for you while, they're, while it's inside, while it's passing through your body. You know, you're an energetic being. You know, you can put energy in water. I mean, the, the priests are not the only ones with the power to create holy water. They can create you individually. We all have the power. And, uh, and, you, can, and you can ask the water to do things for you inside your body and it actually, the water will actually do it for you. You know, you make friends with the water, the water will be your friend inside. And, and so every glass of water you drink can be influenced in, uh, in a positive way. So if you just did that, you, you won't be sticking your head in the sand. You know, be one, one glass of water that was actually treated with respect. You know, each glass of water you drink could be treated that way. You know, well, if we all did that, it would be a, we'd live in a different world.